Hello everybody, this is Bones. We're doing another Let's Play, our last one here, for a new retro Neon Arcade, but you'll notice something different today. I'm not doing the actual uh, arcade, I'm doing the little add-on thing here, and this is just to show you all how easy it is to kind of get started. Um, the past few days I've done sort of pre- finished arcades just to show you some of the things that this can play you know so you guys get a better variety of how decent the engine is that can do this stuff now you're actually looking at a map of the classic arcade map so you can take a look here and even zoom in if you see I just did there just by scrolling up on the mouse you can uh, click different cabinets you can do all sorts of this stuff the first thing though you're gonna wanna do guys when you get this game, it's right click here, click new, and make an arcade. Now, I made one called Sporky. I, I don't know. Uh, just to show you, you can also preview the neon map, as you guys saw before, it was a bit bigger. This is how much bigger it is, by the way. Um, so, of course, you know, there's your, your bowling alley, your ski ball, all this stuff. This will be the one when I personally do my own personal arcade. Uh, that we will be doing. Um, and as I said, this is definitely if you're a hobbyist of any kind, if you like doing hobbies, then this is definitely something that you will enjoy because you can just keep tinkering with it. But unlike a lot of those, like, uh, uh, you know, instead of building model cars, airplanes, you gotta wait for that shit to dry. You don't have to wait for this. You tinker with it, you kept you keep messing with it, you tinker with it, you keep messing with it. Um, now, I had totally uninstalled, reinstalled this, got it factory setting, basically, uh, to the point where I think even my, my Windows firewall uh, has not even totally played nice with this yet, but we'll, we'll fix that after. Uh, today, I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about showing you how easy it is to do some of the stuff you guys have seen me do. So first of all, we're going to start here with the poster. Now you'll see, after you make your layout, you click posters over here. All the posters are lit up here. Um, now they're generic posters, but you want to do is add your own. Uh, so we're going to name a poster. I added in earlier today, Monster Squad. Um, there are a lot of free programs, and then you'll click your file. There are a lot of free programs, and it'll instantly go to your folder with those. So it's just as easy as picking that one. There's your preview. There it is. So you'll click X. Now you'll see here, we got posters all over the place. Um, where do I want it? Because I'm going to show you here on the smaller arcade thing, just so we can get a feel for it. Um, this is not going to be a super long video, guys. I just want to show you guys how we do this stuff. How we do it in my hood. You know, how we do this, uh, <laughs> I sounded like it worked there. How we do this, so we'll click this one. It tells me what one that is. We can click this one. You'll see over here on the, you see it lit up there? Now look here, and you can see it. So I know exactly what poster is going where. So we'll just drag it there. We'll drag it right there, and now we see it under that heading. That, that just replaced the default poster, and that's literally... The same system we're going to use, I'm going to show you all a VHS tape, the same thing, and then we're going to do uh, an arcade. So let's start here. Now, tapes are cassette tapes, music, and you can see here, this can hold 29 of those puppies. Um, and you just do it the same way. You will right-click, you can link it. If you have MP3s on your computer, you can have it play them. Um, Again, don't ask for MP3s or any of that shit. Don't ask for ROMs. Don't ask for any of that stuff. You guys should know the rules by now. Uh, and I have put on a notepad here the URL for a public domain movie called Don't Look in the Basement. So that's going to be our VHS tape today that we're going to test. Um, and I'm only doing one here just so I can show you a quick sample here. So don't look in the basement. Um, uh, 
There we go. So then we will close that. I will click we just take one. And we will drag it. And voila. At this point you click save. Save your work at least. Um, now down the road some things I want to tell you guys that they're doing with the editor. They're going to update the editor. There's a small bug that it's easily fixable with the text editor where you open your layout um, and sometimes the VHS things end up under the heading of tapes and you literally just cut and then paste them under VHS tapes and you're fine. And to me it's not a small price to pay and they're fixing it anyway with, with a uh, update soon enough so you know still um, well we've done these two now but now we want to try uh, something that has taken me a little while to collect all the parts of. We're going to do an arcade. We're going to do Rampage. Um, now, I will say this. Uh, the, while the arcade ones are not quite as cut and dry, you will see here a ton of options. Now, don't be intimidated. Don't be intimidated here. Type means what kind we want. Um, we're going to go default because this is not a light gun game. Now the game, game name, game image, emulator, uh, tons of that stuff. So you will go through your uh, emulator core for that. Your screen type, you will use pixel. Most of these you want to use pixel for. Game volume, uh, mine is probably going to be way too loud, but uh, we will deal with that. Um, and you can see here, there's a preview of the cabinet face, so that's the front panel. We want the side panel graphic. So a lot of this, guys, is pretty much just filling in the blanks. This is the interesting one now. The button layout. There are a lot of them. A lot of them, as you can see. A bunch of them. Um, Rampage, as you can see here, has kind of a special section that's not going to be covered by these, but... Don't let that fool you. There is actually a program on the forum where I can get this exactly the way I want. After I set this thing up, I load this up, set the button layout up, it lets me save that. So I'm going to do that after. Um, I have an attract audio actually for this. Uh, I believe I do. At least I should. I did. Uh, I probably put it in the wrong place because I'm bad for that. Here we go. So there we go. And you can even listen to it. So you can hear the helicopters. You'll hear the... So yeah. Um, so we would do an attract movie. We have done that. Now the attract movie at an arcade, of course, is that loop that plays before you put in your coin. Um... Uh, now where do I find all these neat things, you're asking yourself? I will tell you all, frankly, that you can normally find some of these things. Uh, look for art. Look for art. What you want there for the game image is a splash screen, which is that. Um, and then, of course, you're going to want the ROM itself. Once you are done with all of this, that is it. We have a we have our arcade game in, guys. Um, again, the button layout's not going to be perfect because I need to customize that since this is a weird front. But the point is, you have all these different options, and look, you can see there you get to color the buttons colors you want. So, say we'll do some red. Um, and we'll make them all red. Why not? Make them all red. Um, so we're going to save that. We're going to close that. Now, again, arcade machine. So where do I want to place this one? All these are the generic arcade machines when we come in. So we're going to start with machine 4 and pop rampage. And arcade machine 4. Now again, there's also another editor. If you don't like this one, a lot of people use it to you. I'm not going to do a video for that. <coughs> I'm kind of showing you out of the box before you download any special stuff. But th that was as difficult as that was. 
Um, so I'm going to save this here. Um, I'm going to go through, and like I said before, there's a text editor. I don't know if this is showing up or not. You will find the config file location in the uh, game facts, I believe. And one thing that's cool about this, actually, is this lets you... Say you have an arcade you like a lot, it lets you actually load that arcade up all the time. So instead of having to wait, you just load up the one that you that you really want. Um, another thing here is layouts. You will see a folder for layouts. So remember how I said oh with the text editor, make sure your stuff is there. Um, it's pretty easy actually. There is a simple bracket system the way this works. Um, my mouse, of course, is being a pain, and I don't know if this is capturing this or not. If it's not, uh, don't worry about it. You will see what I mean in a text editor. You will be able to easily tell how things should be and where things should go. Um, and I know you don't believe me, of course, and you're like, oh, he's bullshitting us. This is going to be so hard. But I do not bullshit you guys. I have not yet. I will not with this. Believe me. Um, so now that we got all this sort of set up, uh, we're going to go through, and one thing that I like that you can do here is we'll go to layout, right? So we're going to right click this, launch in game, classic, and we're about to see our work happen. Um, now yes, see, my, my <laughs> I got a warning that it failed to connect straight to Steam because my firewall uh, is insanely militant and I need to fix that. But guys, look. You can see the rest of these are the default, the default nonsense ones. But right there, what do you see? You see Rampage. You see working controls. You see the red buttons like I wanted them to be. And check that out, guys. Just that easy. It did not take me that long, did it? And now we're playing this. So yeah. Um, yes, I know how this works. I have a bunch of credits. I'll press a jump button after that. Been a while. I'm George. George. So we're gonna take a minute here to show you. Now you can hit the middle mouse button to zoom in as well. I can't believe I lost that car, man. Um, but you see, how long did that take me to put in a game, guys? Not long at all. Read the guide, check the forums, uh, look for cabinets uh, on art things, you know, the, the art corner of the forums for this game, and you will find what you're looking for there. But most of all, guys, Look at how easy this actually is to really put up your own arcade, you know. Um, other than button placement, that's it. Everything else for this rampage, I just did in what? Five minutes? Five minutes I did that, set up a poster, uh, which we're going to look at real quick, and did the rest of this. And now I'm not going to sit here all day and play rampage, although honestly I could. Um, in real life, me and my fiance enjoy playing that one quite a bit too. It's a lot of fun. And boom, look! Monster Squad, right there. That took me no time at all to do that. So all this is replaceable, guys. All this. I was telling you before, this is not as hard as you think. I suck with this stuff. I literally taught myself this um, within a matter of an hour. And here it is in front of me. You know. Now mind you, I will use that external program and rearrange where the buttons are. But there is so much help. So much help with all this stuff. Uh, now what about don't look in the basement? Oh, that turned on. Well, I'll show you. First of all, did I find the one YouTube video that won't play? There we go. I actually kind of, uh, I like both 
media screens, frankly, for this. The other thing I like, so you can move this stuff over, around. We're going to put that over here for a minute, because I want to hear this a little louder. I like how it does practical. You can see how good the quality is, again. And this did not take me long. Now, when you're done with this, you're going to go back out to the editor. And then, you know, I can start tweaking things, setting the rest of these up. Um, for me personally, I'll tell you guys, right here next will probably be Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, and got to be Donkey Kong. Um, this whole section here is just going to be retro. Um, I, I would like to do maybe over on this wall, where they have this located here. I plan to do a Frogger, of course, um, even though, as you can see from my previous playthroughs, apparently I suck at it. Um, so we are going to get out of here now. And boom, just that easy, we have returned back to the editor. So guys, you can see how easy that is. Uh, and you can see why it's a lot of fun to tinker with. That didn't take me any time at all to do. That was all live, no smoke or mirrors. And uh, I was able to do that. And like I said, you know, with your imagination is the limit with this stuff because say, you know, the whole idea is to make your perfect arcade. There are external programs that make all this even easier. Like I said, the button placement thing, a lot of people are saying is a lifesaver. Um, a great example of thinking outside the box here, I use VLC to watch all my videos just day to day. It's a free streaming thing. I had the attract screen already for Rampage. I did not have the attract music. So I converted the video using VLC into an mp3 for the audio and put it in there too. So that was not hard to do. Uh, so that just goes to show you how easily you can do this stuff. And it's not hard to do, guys. Um, YouTube has tutorials here too, but the best tutorial right now is written by Vermillion, uh, DC Joe, one other person whose name escapes me, I'm so, so sorry about that. Um, but they have right there on the forum a walkthrough which taught me everything I needed to know. And I popped this thing open, tinkered for 10 minutes. By 10 minutes I had already figured out the VHS tapes. The tapes, most of this, the arcade thing I taught myself today just to do this today. Um, to show you guys that I was determined that if I can learn this this quick, anybody can do this this quick. Uh, and yeah, I mean, okay, so the button placement isn't perfect on the cabinet, but you're literally playing the game within five to ten minutes of setting it up there. So, you know, um, lots of places to find great cabinet artwork, lots of places even to find splash screens, attract screens, all that stuff. So when you find in your head, oh, I want these games, make sure that you read, read the fact and the guide. Read both first. Open this up, make a sample layout, and just tinker with it, mess with it. If you screw it up, you just right-click and delete it. No harm done. Um, say that you are, for example, we'll say in an arcade setting you like, and, you know, we got, don't look in the basement, all this stuff here. But see down the road, what happens if I don't want that there? What happens if I, in one of these, I want a different movie? You can just as easily edit this, drag this over, drop it, save it again, and it's changed. Just like that. Um, you can actually, in the config file, even once you have your ideal layout, and you're getting going where you really want to keep tinkering with that particular one, you can edit in the game settings and tell it what uh, layout to load straight from the desktop icon, and it'll load that. Um, so your games will replace all these blank games, whether you're in classic or non-classic mode. Anyways, uh, I've been Bones. Thank you guys so much for watching our three-part series on this. I had to do one like this because there's so much to cover. One video wasn't going to do it. Um, and I hope you guys have learned a lot. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will link you again to the Steam page where you can purchase this title below. This definitely comes as one of my, you should buy this if you like Stranger Things, the 80s, retro things, uh, arcades, video games, classic games, emulation, any of that. You should definitely be buying this because, like I said before, there's a huge difference between just sitting on your computer playing an emulator and something like this that really puts you in the experience of being in an arcade. Um, I was actually telling my fiance, even just looking at the pizza and this, now we're having pizza tomorrow because I was hungry for pizza <laughs> from this, you know? So it's like, the atmosphere works. Uh, but yes, thank you guys so much. Um, Bones, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, we got a new greeting video we're doing soon with Gary because, as you notice, his voice has changed a lot. He's got a few more story time for grown-ups coming up this week and weeks to come. You, you know, we'll get back into that. We got a lot more uh, Puppets React videos coming up as well, so don't worry. Make sure you guys subscribe to us, like, and share stuff with us. Um, we're also on Twitter now, uh, Bones and Gary. Just look us up on Twitter. Feel free to follow us. We're there now. Uh, okay, well, thank you guys very much, and you guys have a very good night.